Hi guys, this is my horse Legacy, and today we're going to go over and talk about these marks on her that she has. And um, what these marks are from is what's known as a bioscan. And for her, I had her done um, because she was presenting some issues under saddle that were showing up as a possibility of pain. So initially I scheduled it because I could also have um, stuff to check with this. And um, as she was being done and everything, the person, the lady that does it, Donis, was saying that the saddle is actually nice. And what she found here was if you look at some of these marks, these pink ones here coming up and all the way there. there. And then let me turn her around here. Help oh, this is my arm. And these pink ones here, and it actually comes up under her mane here as well, and comes up. And you can see there's actually a little bit more marks coming this way. This shows that this is where she's having her pain, and that there's something bothering her here. And all. So how she gets these marks is that she has this device and tools and she actually checks um, the nervous system. So every time it beeps and does something, it's when the nerve is basically firing up to say this part here is something. So not every mark is a mark of pain. It's just something that's working and doing different stuff. So um, there's a lot that goes into a bioscan and understanding how to read it and all. But the gist of it is that these are marks where um, the nerves are signaling something and knowing if it's a good mark or a bad mark to snows comes from the person. So, for example, these here on the side are good marks. These are just showing that she's using her body. She really likes this one here because if you see this line goes over the spine, she was saying that this one is not on the spine itself. She just marked it originally on the other side because she did that side first to see where it lined up. And it's per basically perfectly aligned saying that she's using her back evenly on both sides there, which is really good. It's something that you want. So back to her neck and this area here, you'll see that there's really nothing on this leg. And coming back to this side again, don't eat the camera. You'll see that there's a little bit here. These ones are good marks as well because she's utilizing the leg. It also shows that on the other side, she's not wanting to use that leg. And where all of the more marks are on her right hand side, on Legacy's right hand side, shows that that's a lot of where her pain is at and everything. And then what um, Donna's does is a treatment after she gets all these marks to see where everything is. She does a um, infrared light therapy. So she has some things that she places over to uh, work on kind of bring in healing to that area and everything to help kind of speed it up and all. And as she was doing that, um, she mentioned that right here right at the very base of the wither and kind of where you can see these two marks and everything she was reactive to she was quite painful and everything so she did something she thinks she either got caught in the fence maybe fell in the pasture because she lives outside um but she did something that hurt this area and into her shoulder particularly on this right hand side for her so our plan moving forward is she's going to have some time off just to kind of relax. And then she has a chiropractic adjustment scheduled for the following week, one week from today at the time of this recording. Um, and then she's going to be rescanned as well to um, not only check to see where everything's at, but also to do the infrared light therapy so that um, any issues or whatever, when she is adjusted by the chiropractor, it will stay. Because what will happen sometimes with chiropractic work, um, whether it's human or animal, is that if there's an underlying problem, because it comes from the muscles generally, not always, but generally it comes from the muscles, the movement and the usage of it, and how it affects the bones and everything. So if the muscles are too tight or wonky or something's up with it, it can shift the bones back slightly out of place to where um, the chiropractic work will be okay for a day or two, but eventually it just becomes um, non-supportive, right? So you got to do some, sometimes have to do some support work with your horse in various different ways. So these are a couple of different ways that we do with our horses here to keep them nice and uh, 
working and happy and comfortable. And um, this also just goes into knowing your horse, you know, understanding, you know, what's going on, what is happening, you know, um, for legacy and everything. She's a pretty chill horse. She's a Mustang, as you can see her little brand there. Um, and she does everything wholeheartedly she will try whatever she does everything that i ask and lately she'd just been really tense not really wanting to um get on the bit and utilize herself get off the reins a little bit she's starting to get really heavy and she was also getting really spooky and um in her spookiness she was also being kind of angry when i would push try to push her out of it so i knew something was up i just had to figure out so we started with um, saddle fit is the basic kind of most simple thing to look at, right? You always kind of start simple because the simplest answer is usually always the correct answer. While in this case, it wasn't the saddle fit, but it was her and her shoulder and everything. It still helped to have a full skin. So that is Legacy's little info for today and a little bit on a bias scan and some of the things that you can look into for, um, your horses, as well as if you tend to rehab horses, it's really good if you bring in horses for rehab, rescue, different things so you can see how they're working themselves and how they feel.